Hey players, Rick here for Game Trade Media. We're at the Alliance Open House, and I went on a quest this morning to find Roscoe. Roscoe here is from Wizards of the Coast, who you might recognize that name from a game called Dungeons and Dragons. And uh, thank you, Roscoe, for joining us today. But this little box, it has the D&D logo, but it says Dungeon Mayhem. Tell <laughs> us, what, what do we got going on here? Hey everybody, I'm Roscoe Wetlaufer. We've got a brand new D&D game, and it's a little different than the D&D you know and love. This is a small, light party game. It's a ton of fun, wild, fast, five to ten minute gameplay, maybe two minutes to learn, and you're up and playing. All right. Yeah. Well, tell us how it goes. Let's, let's do this. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So, in the game, you get to play as one of four characters. You have a wizard, a paladin, a barbarian, and a rogue. Their okay. names are Leah the Radiant, Azan the Mystic, Oriax the Clever, and Sutha Skullcrusher. Sutha, uh, okay, where <laughs> is this person? That, Sutha that, is over here. That sounds you can perfect. see her on some of the uh, purple cards. That is amazing. Yeah. This one. <laughs> so, the way that the game plays is it's kind of a four player free for all. Okay. So, conceptually, You've gotten the hoard of treasure, and now it's time to split the party. Okay. You're fighting over the hoard of treasure, and the last player standing wins. Nice. Yeah, the game's design is built from the ground up to be really simple. So each turn, you draw a card, and you play a card. Uh, players have 10 hit points, and the cards have simple effects on them, which are designated by these little icons. So it really only takes a few minutes to understand kind of what's going on in the game. So you have all these different icons here. Yeah. <laughs> Each different class has a few mighty powers okay. or special abilities, but the classes are actually very different. They were designed to feel like the D&D characters. So okay. if you're the rogue, you're like jabbing really quickly and mm -hmm. you're playing lots of cards. If the wizard uh, plays, they draw a lot of cards, like they have a big spell book, right. and then they have lots of choices to make. Nice. The barbarian is hitting really hard, but a little bit more slowly. Okay. And then the paladin is attacking and healing a few other funky effects. Nice. Yeah. And healing themselves, I'm guessing. Absolutely. Right. Very <laughs> cool. This paladin's a little uh, stingy on those heal spells with everybody else, I'm guess. Yeah. So uh, the artwork looks amazing. Who did you guys get to do some of this artwork? Uh, someone named Kyle Farron. Kyle so Farron. So really excited about again, that. Let's take a look at this on these two cards here. You can see the artwork there. They're very, very fun. And then uh, I also, on the line up here, you, you put down this one here, Clever Disguise. And I like that artwork as well. It's... <laughs> <laughs> funny yeah it's the good. art is meant to be light but still modern sure it's uh you know appealing to all players right. but the cards are also meant to be played with kids so you sure. could play it in a lot of places it's an at the bar game and right. over the holidays with family and friends game definitely an awesome quick game before your regular session mm -hmm. of dungeons and dragons so can we do a round of play real quick and see yeah how, see for how sure out? let's try and uh pull this together we got a few components all over the place but we can bring it together. Who are the four characters? Which class do you want to play with? Oh, I, I want to go with the Barbarian. All right. Let's just get you those cards. Just reads to me that, <laughs> that particular character. We will get you... Those cards are over here. All right. And so you've got two special cards. This is the actions that you have, and okay. that's a hit point tracker. All right. So you're going to put yourself up to 10 hit points. Perfect. And then I'll play as the wizard. By far the best class. I'll wow. start at 10. <laughs> and we got to make sure you have your whole deck. That is hilarious. By far the best class. <laughs> I've always had a little affinity for wizards and magic. All righty. Right. So you just shuffle it up for a hot second. There's two other types of cards that I haven't exactly explained yet. That's blockers. Blockers stay out in front of you. When you okay. usually play a card, it goes to the discard. Blockers block damage. So okay. extra damage sits on them with damage tokens. And then the play again card can be a little tricky. Okay. Um, if you have this, you get the heal one, and then you play again, and you would say, deal three damage to somebody. Oh, nice. But sometimes you have really big turns where you get like three or four play agains, and you're just comboing off, and wild things are happening. All right. All right. So we draw three cards, and then... Every turn, you'll hear me say this a lot, kind of the beat that defines the game is you draw a card and you play a card. Right. I also snuck into the rule book that the youngest player goes first. Perfect. <laughs> so, so I will I draw. 
Oh, I see how this is. <laughs> I will draw a card. <laughs> and I will deal three damage to you. As all wizards, they make assumptions. <laughs> all right. So uh, draw a card. And you take three damage. I don't you like move that. down your hit point no, tracker. I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I didn't. I don't think that's right. By three? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Go for it. All right. So draw a card and play a card. And so damages. Now you have a three blocker. Three blocker. Okay. I will draw. And I will draw three cards. Dang it. One, <laughs> two, three. All Here right. we go. I will draw. And I will play Raph. Oh, my so God. So Riff and Raph, the wolves. <laughs> they look amazing. Thank you. Thank you. I will draw. I'm just going to keep going. I'll draw three more cards. I don't like that at all. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Your go. Great. Drawing and... Uh, you blink one. All right, I'm just gonna zap you for two. With two axes are better than that's one. That's actually the play an extra card. All right. So, so now you get to play two cards. Great. I will um, do whirling axes. Yep. And what is that? Just one, one damage one to me damage and to heal you. you one. All right. And my extra card will be a brutal punch. So I take two. Oof, oof. And then I will draw. All right, time for things to go a little crazy here. I will play two cards. I will steal one of your guys. Whoop. No, 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 dang it. And then I will deal three damage to all players, including me. But we both have three shields, so these guys are just gonzo. Okay. Goodbye, Riff and Raff. No good. <laughs> here you right. go. All right, so draw a card, play yep. a card. And if you run out of cards, you draw mm -hmm. two more cards. Okay, great. I'll whirling axe you. Okay, Again. I take one, and you hit one. All right. All right. I'll deal one to you. Dang it. And then I will play two, and then I'll deal three to you. Hmm. And then I'll deal three to both of us. Just keep missing with these fireballs. One, two, three. Hmm. So... <laughs> The wizard's a little crazy. He the doesn't. He doesn't well, mess of around. Uh, uh, you know, my character would think, "Why? What's anybody ever learned from <laughs> words?" <laughs> All right. So I get. Um, yeah. And then, and then just raise a hand and then draw three cards. All right. So I'm going to play this. Okay. Uh, Battle roar says each player, including you, discards their hands. So and then yep. draw three cards. One. And then two. play. I get to play a card. Yep. All right. And I'm sure so. I'm fine. I'm sure I'm fine. <laughs> Uh, maybe we'll see. I, I might don't make know. It. I might make it. <laughs> you know, I I don't like that, so I'm just gonna do that. Do again. it again, jeez. Yeah. There we go. That looks <laughs> way way better. I'm gonna go ahead and just rage on you for four. Oof. Boop boop boop. Boom. All right, you Killed beat you. me. You beat me at my own game. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So that is Dungeon Mayhem. So I like, one of the things I liked about it is obviously the wizard, the draw factor is amazing. Yeah. What I liked about this one is there's, you're sacrificing things to gain, hopefully, you know, the win condition card. And that was really nice. Uh, you know, nice to win. I don't <laughs> win, as you all know, that watch our programming. I don't win very often, so it was nice. Yeah, there's designed to be a little bit of interplay. So you've got the wizard who draws a ton of cards, and then the barbarian just headbutts them right. and makes them lose their whole hand. I so love sometimes, it. and it's a very random, chaotic game. So mm -hmm. sometimes that comes up. Sometimes, you know, you're doing that later in the game, but there's a lot of cool, different interactions. The right. rogue, his pickpocketing ability lets you play out of the other people's decks. So you play oh, off the top of their deck. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, yeah. Seeing this played with four players and all characters involved is obviously going to be a lot of fun <laughs> to watch. Yeah, you might not realize it at first, but it's actually a little bit of like a, a political game. Um, just like D&D, &D, there's a bit of a social contract sure. to it. You know, you're kind of talking amongst your friends, you're picking on someone, and then they get their revenge. Right. So a lot of fun Very in that cool. way. Yeah. Now, uh, is there anything uh, out of the Wizards of the Coast vault that you can talk about? Maybe a little... Anything else coming out? That, uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We have a bunch of awesome products coming up. Mm -hmm. Primarily Dragon Heist. I know you're excited. I'm pretty about excited that. about that. Yeah, <laughs> I already saw uh, some miniatures that are kind of floating around, floating around in regards to that particular product. So I'm excited for seeing those. And yeah, just the opportunity to uh, 
pick up Dragon Heist and play out of it because uh, as everybody that watches here knows, I am a huge D&D fan. So. Yeah. And, and some stores have a, a preview adventure as well for Dragon Heist okay. that players might be able to get in store and get some of that action um, before the release date, which is <laughs> very, very soon. Right. So really excited for Dragon Heist. It's kind of an urban caper, a lot of characters that you know and love. So mm -hmm. a ton of good stuff in there as well. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you, Roscoe, for coming out and showing us this. When is this available, by the way? This just got announced like two days ago. Nice. It's not available until November 16th, but I'm incredibly, incredibly excited about it. It should, should be a it's ton it's of fun. You did a great job. <laughs> this is thank a you so, very so much. Fun, and I look forward to seeing this at the local game store and in people's stockings yeah, for the holidays. Yeah, absolutely. this is a perfect size game for stocking stuffer to play with your friends and family at, uh, over the holidays. Good job, man. Thank I you so, it. so much. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. And for all of you out there watching, we'll be back real soon. Go to your local game store. I'm Rick, and I'll see you at the game store. Watching Game Trade Media. Make sure to leave us a like and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new content.